Hey everyone, today we're going over three things you absolutely need to know if you're thinking about living here in Duluth, Minnesota. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss anything. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Oakland, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things Duluth, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if everyone could do me a favor and smash the like button on this video and leave a comment letting me know what you're looking forward to here in Duluth, Minnesota, I would really appreciate that and share it with a couple friends, let them know what we're doing here. I'm getting a ton of questions every day about Duluth. So if you're thinking of moving here, or even if you already live here, call, text, email me anytime with your questions. I love helping everybody out. Now let's talk a little bit more about the three big items you need to know if you're thinking about living here. All right, so there's three big items we have to talk about if you're thinking about living in Duluth, Minnesota. And some of it is gonna be Duluth specific. We're actually uh, out wandering around one of the trails right now here uh, in the Duluth area. As you can see here, it's a really nice day. We're close to one of the main roads here, so you'll probably hear some of the traffic. But one of the main items I wanna start with today, and we talk about this fairly regularly actually, is the weather. And the weather is really important in the Duluth area, especially if you're new to the kind of uh, climate we have here, uh, whether it's in the Midwest in general, or Duluth specifically, especially because we have Lake Superior here. So you have to keep a couple things in mind is one, Lake Superior does keep things a little more unpredictable with the weather. Uh, so even if they're predicting that it's gonna rain that day or snow, you know, or gonna be really warm, sometimes it doesn't reach anywhere near the type of weather they're gonna predict for that day. So sometimes you have to wait until that day uh, comes around and then you'll kind of know. But so you kind of just gotta roll with it a little bit here in the Duluth area and that's just kind of part of living here. Uh, the rain seems to fluctuate a little bit more and a little bit with the snow as well, but the weather uh, is gonna be a big one because we have four distinct seasons here. And that is gonna mean one winter. I get a lot of questions about winter. And yes, uh, winter does kind of start in mid-November. And that's when the, starts to stick, the snow sticks around a little bit more and the cold is a little more consistent with winter-like temperatures even though Winter technically doesn't start until about the end of December. But in January and February, you're gonna have your colder months. So those are for sure gonna be your more uh, colder months and usually like for two, three weeks. Depends on the year, you're probably gonna see more of those below zero temperatures towards the end of January and into February, but every year is a little different. And same for like the duration of winter, you kinda just gotta roll with it a little bit because some years, you know, by the end of, you know, March, you might actually be done with winter. In other years, like this past winter, it uh, is a little bit longer. And we get into early May before it's actually done. So you just kind of got to roll with that a little bit as well. But uh, the weather's also going to be a little different for you on, you know, the type of bugs and how many bugs, depending on the season you're in that you're gonna experience because winter you're not really dealing with much and in springtime you know it's still cold things are growing in so you're not gonna have a whole lot of bugs until later in spring and then summertime you know they'll be all out especially as you go hiking you know further out into the woods or off into the trails you know just like this one where there's you know tall grass and it's only partially maintained so it just kind of depends where you're at. In fall time, same deal. You know, at the later into fall you get towards winter, you're gonna have more uh, uh, variation in types of weather, less bugs, but you know, it could fluctuate a lot more with, you might have a really nice day and it could shoot right up to 80 degrees in fall time and then it'll go right back down to like 50. So, and it could snow, it could rain, you never really know. So it's a little bit of a wild card as you get into fall time. And even in uh, last December, we had kind of a first for our area and we had a thunderstorm in December. I heard uh, other parts of the state might have even <laughs> gotten tornadoes. And that's one thing here too, is because we're next to Lake Superior, uh, the weather is a little different here like we were talking, but it also prevents a lot of uh, anything like tornadoes 
it eats up a lot of tornadoes because of the lake effect. Uh, so it really makes the news when we even get a funnel. Uh, it doesn't mean things can't happen, but it, it's pretty, uh, pretty rare with anything like the Lake Superior Lake effect here. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to move here. All right, so the next item we need to go over right now is gonna be uh, the options uh, for a city this size here in Duluth. And this uh, is gonna be especially important if you're coming from a bigger uh, city area or an area that has uh, a lot of what you enjoy doing. So it's really good uh, anytime you're moving anywhere to double check uh, to see what, what they have for what you enjoy doing. And in an area like this, you know, we always have a lot of outdoor activities going on uh, year round. There's always something you can do. But uh, for options here, I, I mean a couple things by that. One, uh, like we're talking, we, we do have an abundance of outdoor activities, but if you're looking for a constant supply of indoor activities, you really gotta double check to see what you're hoping for because, you know, we are, a smaller area with a lot available to us given the size of the area but we still don't have a ton of options uh, for restaurants and indoor activities we do have an indoor facility uh, where we do a lot of uh, big events at the the convention center downtown so you'll even see big music acts and comedy acts go there and everything and they do some uh, big gatherings like the home show for uh, different builders and everything. Um, but as far as like big indoor activities, that's kind of the main place. Uh, we do have, you know, a lot of little uh, music acts and restaurants and uh, different things like that and clubs. But I would definitely recommend checking out uh, the area to make sure it has exactly what you're hoping for or that you at least know what's here. Um, or you can call with any questions. And the other thing is, depending on where you're looking to live, uh, if you're looking to live further out, outside of the city, that's another thing where options are gonna change for you because you always need to double check, one, uh, what are your options for internet? That is one of the biggest questions I get is uh, for anybody looking in a rural area because the further out you get, typically you only have one internet service provider. Um, although uh, Starlink is getting more popular, it's not always immediately available and it's still satellite internet versus your standard high-speed internet. But you gotta make sure, one, if high-speed internet is available at the property, and two, if uh, the speed that's available is gonna work for you because you don't always have the highest speeds available that you typically do uh, in the city limits so that's another really important thing to double check uh, but we do always have an abundance of outdoor activities for anybody that's looking and that's uh, whether it's you know utilizing lake superior our public uh, parks or anything you know within 30 minutes to an hour i mean we've got the spear hiking trail tons of lakes that are free to to utilize and lots of public land that you can access for state trails for, you know, even in, not just hiking around, but for using your ATV and side-by-side, -side, things like that as well. Um, so I always tell everybody, double check to see, you know, make sure what's available here that you like to do and what options, whether it's for, you know, shopping, going out to eat or just normal activities. And, uh, we're gonna have a lot of options. We do have a lot of retail options as well. We even just got a Costco in town last fall, uh, but we've got a whole retail area above the Duluth Hill and some little stores, whether it's uh, grocery stores or anything like that throughout the whole area. But our main retail area is gonna be around the Miller Hill Mall. And that's where you're gonna have like Target, Menards, uh, kind of spread out, Home Depot, Fleet Farm, Walmart, and a ton of other uh, retail as well. And our main grocery stores, if you're looking, are gonna be uh, Super One, Cub Foods. We do have a couple of Whole Foods and Aldi's. So give that a, a check as well. Now, the last item I wanna go over today is uh, the housing market. Everyone's asking about it, and I really just wanna touch on this and really help plan your move here. And, you know, with the interest rate fluctuating here still, and, you know, I know, I know a lot of areas, uh, including some of ours, are 
slowing down a little bit, but it is still a strong housing market here. Um, so you really got to tackle everything property to property still. Uh, so I want to help everybody plan as early as possible. So definitely reach out if you're even thinking about moving here, reach out right away and we can start planning um, because if you're trying to buy a property long distance when you're not here yet you know there's a lot of moving parts it's really good to know what to expect going into it and how we can plan what our options are and this can get a little more complicated too uh, if you're running into one uh, if you have a property you need to sell first to move here you know we've got a planned you know are you planning on using a loan to buy the new property and is it going to be contingent on you selling your house because it's a, uh, a lot tougher on your offers you're making here with a home sale contingency uh, do you have a remote job so you don't have to worry about finding new employment here because if you're planning on using a loan um, and you don't have a remote job it's a lot trickier because you might need uh, to start work here first and everything like that so it's really important to talk to a loan officer uh, prior to plan uh, doing any of this as well uh, to know your options there and those are some of the main items I run into commonly here uh, when everyone's uh, moving cross-country into Duluth so keep those things in mind but reach out right away and we'll cover all this in detail and you know you've got to plan what are you bringing with on the move you know what type of property are you looking for it's really good to start thinking about that early do you want to be in the city uh, how much yard space do you need? Do you want a garage? Uh, do you want to be out in the country? Are you prepared for any like yard maintenance or snow removal? What do you need there? Um, so this is all really important stuff that we need to go over and find a, a plan that works best for you and your family. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of information about the Duluth area. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And if you're thinking of buying or selling a home here in the Duluth area, reach out anytime at the phone number or email on the screen below. I'd love to help you.